sometimes when you sit down to go to work every day, it, it, you really sometimes have to put it out of your mind that you are, are dealing with forecasts that could impact people's lives. Our staff typically are up at four or five in the morning to be here before six o'clock usually. And they're here sometimes till uh, six o'clock at night, sometimes later if there's a lot of active weather across the province. And, and literally uh, the day that you usually think you're gonna have coming into the weather office is usually not the day you have because unexpected things happen. There's, there's new risks, there's new fires, there's new risks of flooding. And the weather can be very unpredictable at times and a lot of times we're trying to adjust for that and, and make the forecast better as the day evolves. A lot of people don't realize that we have a, a weather station network across Ontario, about 141 weather stations. And they transmit up to the satellites once an hour, 365 days a year. And with that information, we can then build a forecast to understand what's going to happen from now moving forward. But in conjunction with that, we use satellite information, we use radar information, we use uh, we have a lightning detection network that we access to know where the lightning is to, to cause forest fires. And we also access weather forecast models uh, from everywhere in the world. We, we look at everything from uh, European weather models to the Canadian weather models to the, the, to the American weather models as well. So we, we don't put any limit on what it is we use. We try to find the best of everything there is and combine that to make one, one unique forecast for the needs of the organization. We sometimes only have one person in here if there's very little risk, but if there is a big fire risk or a big flooding event or evacuations going on, we can staff up and increase people in here up to four people that can work at one time doing forecasts all across the province. I would say that if our forecasts are accurate, what it does, it allows our people to get the resources in the proper locations. It, the crews can be at the right spot to anticipate where fires might develop. It gives us the opportunity to move water bombers into the right position. And it then allows us to react quicker and more efficiently to fires that do happen, as opposed to being in the wrong location and not knowing where the fires are, are about to occur that day. So, so if our forecasts are right, we can have the people in place to deal with them effectively, as opposed to being caught off guard. Here in Sault Ste. Marie, we look out for uh, every crew across Ontario that's out in the bush fighting fire, they may only have a radio or, or a satellite phone to make contact and we try to reach out to those people and make sure that if there's a storm coming their way, if there's a wind shift coming their way, that we are able to keep them safe and move them to safety or, or be aware of what's going on out there.